public areas of the park. Remember, ropes are no. Don't climb under them. Hey guys, I'm Zach Dankovic, the Game Director and Lead Programmer for Labyrinthine. I want to take a few minutes to give you the who, the what and the why of the project. Labyrinthine is our company's first title. It's an online cooperative horror game set within the confines of an overgrown hedge maze. The maze has had a long and mysterious history, which has kept the people from the nearby town of Happysburg away. This year, however, the local fair has decided to make use of it as a new and exciting attraction. You and up to three of the players take the roles of new employees who have been tasked with setting up the maze after the previous ones working on the site have either quit or disappeared without warning. Shortly after venturing into the maze, you will discover that a former employee has opened up a passageway that had remained closed for the best part of a century. This previously off-limits section is where you will discover the maze's true history along with dark and sinister secrets that should have been left dormant. Together or alone, you will have to solve puzzles, find items and avoid some of the monstrosities that lie within its corridors. The team at Valco Game Studios is composed of a handful of skilled and dedicated programmers, artists and composers. We are all gamers and huge fans of horror games. We are also big advocates of multiplayer gaming, as shared experiences are the best in our eyes. This is the reason why we came to realise pretty quickly that there is a severe lack of cooperative horror titles. And look, we get it, it's hard to pull off horror in a multiplayer environment, but that lack of choice really made us want to rise to the challenge and add our little spin to this neglected genre. Throughout our development cycle, we have taken the approach of building terror over horror, and we think this should be fairly evident in-game. For those who don't know, terror is the feeling you get when you're anticipating something is going to happen, and horror is the feeling you get after seeing something scary. We feel that building suspense and atmosphere makes for a more memorable gaming experience. Don't be fooled though, that doesn't mean you will be seeing some horrifying things. Our artists have been hard at work producing high quality assets that are accurate to the game setting. An underlying theme within the game is the occult, which plays much more of a prominent role the further into the game you get. The sinister nature of the occult has enabled us to create some truly dark depictions that are sure to disturb some people. We have also had the chance to work with an upcoming streamer group, the Dopey Kids, as well as the legendary Ezekiel III who provided some incredible voice acting. Yeah, that thing, is that your voice? That is! Yeah, that... Excellent. That... That's totally me, dude. It's awesome. Our team is very close-knit, and this has allowed us to voice our individual opinions openly on nearly every aspect of the game. We want players to enjoy what we've made, and this style of open discussion helps weed out the bad ideas. It doesn't get them all, though, and this is why we've made a conscious effort to review every piece of feedback we've received from both our testers and those who have played the now heavily outdated pre-alpha demo that was available on Steam. Play feedback is important, and we will be continuing this for the foreseeable future in both Labyrinthine and future titles. We want to really connect with our community and help bring their ideas to life too, so play suggestions are often a hot topic in our meetings. You may have noticed we were asking for the funding towards the end of the development cycle. This is because we wanted to have a concrete game that we felt was worth funding before asking for even a penny. We are happy with our progress and we are aiming to get an early access release out for Halloween this year. However, as this project is our premier title, we do not have the financial backing that established studios do and we are limited by the amount of work we can output as a small team. So far, the entirety of development has been at our personal expense and we are now looking for some funding to help pay for a final development sprint. Your funds will go towards the direct development of the game with any spare funds being used to market it. You can read more below this video, and feel free to join our Discord where you can speak with us directly. We are absolutely open to any questions, positive or negative feedback, and any suggestions you may have. Thanks for watching our little pitch. Myself and the rest of the team sincerely hope you like the project and the ideas behind it.